to start with, I just want to say that I do not believe in the top three Afrobeat artists. I think it's a disservice to the likes of Olamide and Tiwa Savage. Because uh, when we talk about the top three Afrobeat artists, we tend to mention Whiskey, Davido, and Bonner Boy. And we forget the struggle that the other artists have put in into this genre to make sure that it goes far, right? And I believe that Tiwa and Olamide deserve a spot on the list. Hence, the reason I feel a top five is way better. It's a way better representation of our Afrobeat music than the top three. I had to make that clear. Moving forward, this is going to be a conversation about the new school Afrobeat artists. And we're talking about the likes of uh, Thames. We're talking about the likes of Rema, the likes of CK, Fireboy, and Omale, and a host of other new school artists that have come into the scene and make sure that they're taking the Afrobeat uh, culture to a whole different level. So now we're trying to list the top five new school Afrobeat artists, the frontiers, the front runners, the guys that are holding it down and making sure that, you know, this culture is taken forward, right? And I feel we have to list them in order of relevance, in order of their personal work and how what they've been able to achieve within a short period of time. And the first person to me that I think is the number one frontier, the number one front runner among the new school is undeniably <laughs> Rema. This dude is fire, man. He's a superstar. I think he's very daring and he, he knows what he wants when it comes to this music thing, right? And the numbers speak for itself as well. Look at what Camden has done. Camden has broken multiple records on Spotify, on the Billboard Hot 100 hit, even charting, uh, uh, picking at as high as number six, two weeks in a freaking row. Bro, you got to give it to Rema for all that he's done. Not only that, to top it all, he's having a tour and... One of the places, one of the venues that this guy is daring to go is the O2 Arena. We're not talking about O2 Brixton. This is not the Coco Bar. We're talking about the O2 Arena where we have the likes of David Bonaboy and Wheezy Conquer. Rema has proven to be a visionary. You know, he wants to be one of the first youngins to dare to do it. That is the reason why I called him that he he's daring, right? So I give it to Rema. Rema has to be the top on the list, as far as I'm concerned. The second person I would say is Thames. You all know how Thames broke in from being underground to scoring a record with Wheezy Essence. That song, Banging a Remix with Justin Bieber. And everything just went, just went south like crazy. The records were just going hard. And streams were coming in, recognitions were coming in. People were wondering who owns this this voice, this unique voice. And that was how Thames Baby became, uh, came to be, came to be one of one of the the greatest African female artists to, to do it. Like to be honest, she's just barely four years in the game. I think three years in the game, and she's made a name for herself already. Like she's she she's already made a legacy for herself, right? And to top it all, she also has a billboard hit with Drake. That's Fountain. And she was also featured again on a Future's record, which is, I think, Wait For You. That song got her first Grammy. What? Come on, man. Thames is undisputed when it comes to this uh, list. She's number two. She, she has made a name for herself, and I respect her for you know, her talent in, in general. The number three person on this list is CK, uh, also known as the Africa's boyfriend. When you're talking about the front runners, the, the new school, there is no way you name the top five without mentioning CK. CK has obviously has a mark on the Afrobeat scene uh, with his hit record, Love of Entity, which took, uh, that record I think took off one year after release unfortunately he couldn't get any nominations international nominations or recognitions for that song however the amount of streams that ck got on those records the amount of plagues that you, you know uh certifications that ck got on that record 
was out of the world. In fact, that song gave Essence a run for its money uh, during the period where both songs were trending, right? So CK definitely holds number three spot for me. Uh, he's changed the game. He made the new school believe that they could really, you know, do enough numbers, you know. Uh, and you can see the, the evidence right now. Look at what Rema is doing with Calm Down. Look at what uh, other artists are basically doing with their records, right. So I give it to CK. CK, my number three artist right now. And the next artist on the list, which sits at number four, is Fireboy, a.k.a. Playboy. Come on, man. You know you know the, the massive chaos Peru cost across the world once that remix dropped with ed sharan it was over just go home you know it was a hit record that blew everyone away even peru the actual place called peru had to make that like an official song at a point right so you have to give it a fire boy for the impact that he has made in afrobeat i think one one thing for sure it's my opinion though but i think Fireboy released too many materials too soon uh, for a youngin, for one of the new schools that just started early. I think he released too much of a, a material. Every artist wants to be able to go as much as 10 years, right? Even more, like a decade or, or two. But if you drop some of your best materials within the first two years, you're coming into the music. I mean, it's a problem. I know you're trying to tour the the way of your your label boss Lamide who has a lot of albums but I just felt like that was that was the wrong play but anyways Fireball has a lot of amazing records from Laughter Tears and Goosebumps to Apollo uh, and all obviously Playboy but I think one of my best album of uh, Fireboy's album is Apollo actually um, so I give it up for Fireboy for all the impacts that he has done he has a record with madonna that's a big feat man and then he has a record with ed sherry come on what else do you want what, what else are you asking for you know uh big up to him and the fifth person on my list is all my lay get laid aka boy alone uh Omale came into the scene super hot with get laid ep it took everywhere at a point it was like the most streamed get laid was the most streamed album on spotify nigeria that was a crazy feat as a dead man undisputed and since then he's been featured on so many campaigns you know projecting african music in a good light also check out his new album boy alone i personally think that's one of his best well it's his only album but under the year of review 2022 i think that was the best album by any african act or let me drop it down to by any afrobeat artist so far in 2022 under the year of review um really hope you could have won more awards you know for that album because it resonates with a lot of people right and it has a great record in there the attention featuring justin bieber you could you can't believe that Mali has two records with justin bieber man that's huge you know the youngies are making us proud man why wouldn't you be proud as an afrobeat fan this is our culture and look at how far it's gone like that's why i say we have to give props to every single artist that made the journey smooth that made the journey this interesting every single one of them we have other honorable mentions we have the likes of uh bella smoda we have the likes of asake who is doing his thing we have the likes of kiss daniel we have buju benson oh my god like i won't lie if i were to put the top six, Buju will be sitting at six.